If you're purchasing UFC 206, be sure to use the affiliate code below. It's no extra cost and you're supporting the channel. Jason Sago versus Rustam Habilov. Habilov has a decorated combat Sambo background. He's a powerful striker, but he is very gun shy, a counter striker to a fault. It's interesting to think he has fought Jorge Masvidal and Benson Henderson while staying relatively unnoticed in the UFC. He had one blowout performance in his debut against Vince Bichel and since then gone on to provide snoozeworthy fights through decision victories. I think the only way Rustin wins this fight is if he turns out to be too strong or lands a power shot that puts Sago away. Sago will be pressing forward, so that will likely cater to Habilov's counter-striking style. In addition, Sago is primarily an orthodox striker that plays with the southpaw, so I don't think Habilov is going to be as reserved as he has been in past outings. The only thing is, Sago throws primarily kicks, so there will probably not be a lot of opportunity for Habilov to counter unless it's with takedowns. Even on the mat, I'm not sure if he can keep Sago down, as he's super crafty. We've also seen Habilov give up his back a few times and Benson Henderson was able to submit him by rear naked choke. Rustam definitely has the more consequential striking, could possibly dominate him in the clinch and in top control, but overall, he always seems to be his own worst enemy. Jason Sago isn't the best striker, but at least he presses forward and engages. He keeps his hands low and doesn't exactly have the best striking defense, which could bite him in the ass if Rustam threw, throws a wheel kick or lands cleanly. Still, Sago could win this fight simply by having the higher output, attempting more takedowns, and likely hitting more submission attempts than Rustam. I think this fight goes to decision, and there may be a submission opportunity on both sides. I see there is a Saga wins by decision prop bet at plus 340 that may be worth a small bet. Not entirely confident that Saga wins, but based on Havilov's past performances, the fact that he missed weight, I'm not, I'm not going to pick him to win, so I'm going to pick Jason Sago to win by decision.